Cam Smith may have bagged the Greg Norman medal, but that's all Lucas Herbert plans on giving him ahead of an upcoming duel on Australian soil. Lucas will be seen participating in the Australian Championship alongside world number three Smith, Mark Leisman, and Adam Scott, among others. The event has been getting a lot of buzz, but it hasn't been held since 2019 due to COVID-19. Without further ado, let's find out more about the story. Starting off, Lucas Herbert plans on taking down live rebel Cameron Smith. Just when we thought that tensions were starting to ease among the PGA players and live rebels, it looks like we're in for more. We've luckily seen the players from both sides taking jabs at each other in the press. Now Lucas Herbert plans on taking the matters to the golf course. The thing is that Cameron Smith will finally be returning to his home country of Australia for the first time in three years to participate in the upcoming Australian Open. He's aced his way through the live events, but that doesn't mean the British Open champion will have it easy for this PGA gig. That's because Lucas Herbert is already eyeing to take him down. The Australian Open will see the Australian players facing off on the field that'll boost three major champions and a good number of rising stars, including Lucas, who's been a two-time DP World Tour and a one-time PGA winner. The event is going to be co-hosted by the Kingston Health and Victoria Golf Clubs in December. Since the last Australian Open, he's worked hard in taking his career to a whole new level, which includes making his way into the world's top 50, two top 15 major finishes in 2022, and a maiden visit to the Masters. It's clear that he's not only hopeful, but is planning to take down the world number three, Cam Smith. Well, that won't be an easy target. Still, there's no harm in dreaming big. Up next, here's what Lucas had to say about his aim. In the recent talk with the press, he said that there's no doubt Cam is an accomplished player and easily the face of Australian golf. So it doesn't come as a surprise that everyone on the field is eyeing to beat him in the game at some point. He said that he's had a talk with Adam Scott and Mark Leisman, who believe that if they put on a good performance, they can have a chance at beating him and winning the Australian Open. Besides this, the man is pretty confident with his aim. The golfer thinks that he's already prepared for the big challenge as he's faced off some of the big names already in the field, so he's got a hang of their game. We don't know how everything's going to turn out for him, but you've got to praise him for his determination. He's finally returning to the golfing grind of play and travel and hopes to secure playing rights on the US PGA Tour and the DP World Tour, and it looks like he's closer to achieving his goals as he's already won PGA's Bermuda Championship last November. What's more, he's pretty much fed up with the whole PGA live drama, just like the rest of us, and only plans on focusing on the game from now on. He's admitted that it was tense for his circuit during the first few months, but everyone's zoning out of the whole situation and only plans on focusing on the core thing, which is golf. Coming up, let's hear his thoughts on Live Golf. If you've been living under a rock, here's a quick update for you. Live Golf's emergence has been dominating the headlines for over a year now. In fact, it erupted into a nasty feud with the PGA Tour and DP World Tour. The Live administration was able to sign some of the biggest PGA names, including Leisman, Dustin Johnson, Brooks Koepka, and Bryson DeChambeau, among others. But Cam Smith was their biggest acquisition, given that he won three of the six PGA championships this year, which include the Players' Championship, Tournament of Champions, and British Open. Talking to the reporters, Lucas said that the whole PGA circuit is tired of the live questions at this point, and they want to leave it behind them. He's really not a big supporter of the new league, and even had issues with the live rebels who protested their PGA bans. He stated that he doesn't have any bad blood with the players, as some of his close friends have also joined the league. Interestingly, he believes that two or three of the golf tours will have to exist on their own, as there isn't any chance of a crossover between them. He can't think of ways to get the golfers playing for both sides. He's still firm in his stance that the live rebels know exactly what they're signing up for, so there's no need for them to complain about the bans. He says it's like they want cake from both sides. Last but not least, Cameron Smith has bigger goals in mind. Cam isn't just returning home to win the PGA title and the Australian Open, he's aiming for more. The Aussie plans to set a new world record in Brisbane, so that means he hasn't paid heed to the PGA players aiming to take him down on the field. He won the tournament back in 2017 and 2018. Now he's taking his trophy on a mini tour, including his home club of Wantima. And when he'll land in Brisbane, he aims to break the Guinness World Record for the largest golf lesson with his coach, Grant Field. Now that's impressive. They'll attempt it at the Royal Queensland driving range on November 20th with hopes that more than 1,200 people show up for tips from him. The previous record was set in Mexico in 2011, which saw 1,073 people participating.
funding. He said that they're currently looking for more than 1,500 participants so that they can smash the record with ease. Besides this, there will be 50 officials from the Guinness World Records to ensure full compliance with the rules. Now let's talk about Cam Smith's net worth after joining Live Golf. Starting off, let's take a look at his current net worth. Cam had already had an amazing year with the PGA Tour. He won multiple titles and earned millions of dollars. Now add in his staggering checks from the Saudi-funded Live Golf. Let's just say it must feel good to be him right now. It's time to drop the bomb. His current net worth is reported to be $50 million, but his next update after 2022 is going to be crazy. Reportedly, he had a $140 million payday after joining Live Golf. Yes, we're not joking. It's safe to say that it's one of the largest paydays signed in the history of golf. Not to mention, most professional golfers earn a major portion of their fortune from cash prizes and endorsement deals. So he really won here. What's amazing is the fact that he's also sponsored by several brands, including the biggest golf equipment brand, Titleist, as well as the apparel brand, Origin Penguin. Yes, he renewed his contract with the original Penguin earlier this year. Following that, let's break down his live cash prizes. He made his live golf debut at the International Golf Club near Boston. After a nail-biting competition, he finished fourth. What's amazing is the fact that he was still able to grab a massive paycheck. He went home with $1.5 million. Just to be clear, that's almost equal to the winning amounts of some of the major PGA Tour tournaments. Take his own PGA wins, for instance. He pocketed $1.4 million for winning the Tournament of Champions, $3.6 million for the Players' Championship, and $2.5 $5 million for winning the British Open. His breakthrough moment in Live came when he won the Chicago event. This resulted in another massive paycheck, as he won $6 million in the prize purse. He continued to have top five finishes in the other events as well. At the final event, he did not only get the individual cash prize, but he also won $2 million in the team share, as they came in second. It was Dustin Johnson's team that took the title, and each of the four players won $4 million. Last but not least, he won't be getting his live prize money up front. After the wins, he's made headlines about the prize money that he's received. Has he really won, or is it just part of the salary? The matter was brought to question by many netizens, and some of them were quick to find out the correct reason. It turns out the money he received is actually part of his salary. The prize money will actually be recouped as part of his handsome contract with Live Golf. Therefore, it's not the right approach to say that he's won it besides his actual paycheck. Still, a uh, 100 $140 million contract isn't something insignificant. As it was just the inaugural season, we believe that the Live Golf will return with many bonuses for the players in 2023, as it's officially turning into a professional league. That's a wrap for this video. Who are you excited to see in action at the Australian Open? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more amazing and exciting videos like this. See you in the next one.